Oh, what's going on, dudes? HK Titan here with a brand new Balloon CD6 challenge. We are going to be attempting to beat Chimps mode using only the Pod Pathway Towers. So, the first thing that I want to start off with is I think I'm just going to go ahead and start off with a Wizard Monkey. Get my Wizard Monkey placed down because obviously the Prince of Darkness is part of the Bottom Pathway tiers. And I think that's definitely going to be one tower that I'm going to want to have. As far as like the second tower that I'm going to go for, um, a tower that I've been thinking about what would do really, really well here is going to be the Bottom Pathway Triple XL Trap. As long as we get good placement on the Triple XL Trap, we should be able to do pretty well if we go for that tower. All right, so it looks like our wizard monkey is going to be struggling just a little bit. So I think I'm going to go with a boomerang monkey as well. Because with this boomerang monkey, what we can go ahead and do is we can upgrade it to Moab Press. It's not going to help us out really much late game, but it should be able to help us out in the early game quite a bit. Plus, I do know that the boomerang monkey is pretty strong here. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade to Red Hot Ranks. And then we'll go ahead and buy Kylie Boomerang as soon as we can afford it. All right, dudes, here we are on round 15. Everything's been going pretty well. Um, I don't know if I'm going to need to grab another tower because it looks like our boomerang monkey and our wizard monkey are starting to struggle just a little bit. So I think if I need to grab that like second or third tower, oh man, we're going to have a single red balloon slip through. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab my engineer monkey right now because if I grab my engineer monkey right now, we shouldn't have any more troubles with balloons. And the reason why I want to place my engineer monkey right here is because once we upgrade to triple XL trap, because we are on the map for circles, uh, I'm hoping by placing it here, we're going to be able to get the mob balloons as they come in and as they're about to leave, which I think should be the best choice for us. All right, round 18, we'll go ahead and grab a Kylie Boomerang. The next thing we want to grab is we definitely want to grab a Camo Detection because obviously none of our towers can see cam Camo Balloons other than our Wizard Monkey. All right, round 25, we'll go ahead and grab our Shimmer. Now I think what I want to do is I want to start going for my Engineer Monkey. So we'll go ahead and grab Oversized Nails and we'll go up to Double Shot and see if we can afford the Balloon Trap before round 40. All right, round 34. So far, everything's been going much better since we upgraded our Engineer Monkey up to Double Guns. I think I'm going to go for Necromancer Unpopped Army first because at least with the Necromancer Unpopped Army, we should get a little bit more bang for our buck because, I mean, look, look at all of these undead balloons. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm definitely going to go for the Balloon Trap and we have four rounds left until round 40, so I don't think I'll be able to afford it. If we need to, if it looks like the Moab Balloon is going to make it a little bit further than we would like it to, we'll go ahead and upgrade our Boomerang Monkey up to Moab Press. All right, round 38. I don't, I don't even know why I thought I, couldn't, I wouldn't be able to afford the Balloon Trap. And we have the perfect placement for our Balloon Trap. Next thing we want to go for, I mean, we have two rounds left. I mean, can we afford a Moab Press before round 40? Uh, we have one round left. I think it might be a little bit too close for that one. But at the, at the very least, we do have the, ne the Necromancer and we also have the uh, Balloon Trap. Oh, look, we are able to afford the Moab Press. Let's go, dudes. All right, so now can we actually deal with this mob balloon? All right, cool. We were able to deal with it. What would be a really good option here? Should we go for a ninja monkey? Should we go for a heli pilot? I'm not sure. I mean, I'm just looking at all of these up these upgrade paths. I'm just like, man, like all of these are buns without cross paths. I was thinking about going armor piercing darts, but I mean, arm armor piercing darts would fall off pretty bad in, in the late game. Or if we should just try to stick with this combo until we can upgrade to the Prince of Darkness. All right, dudes, round 55. We are so close to being able to afford our Prince of Darkness. And we should be able to afford it here in just a second. <laughs> Dude, like, this is actually going way smoother than I initially thought it would go. I mean, we have our Balloon Trap up, we have our Moab Press, and now we have our Prince of Darkness. Now, the one thing I noticed we're struggling with quite a bit is Moab Balloons. So, I'm trying to think of what would be a really good tower to go for with these Moab Balloons. And I was thinking, if we go for Heli Pilot, that will it'll give us a bunch of stall, and it'll help us out a lot once we upgrade our Engineer Monkey up to the Triple XL Trap. So, I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. All right, so we ended up getting our Moab shove, and I think placing our en Engineer Monkey in the back here was definitely the best play because it gives our Prince of Darkness time to uh, shimmer all of the Camel Balloons. And on top of that, by having this Moab shove here, uh, as soon as like these Moab Balloons get within range of our Moab shove, it's going to give our towers a little bit more time to actually pop them and hopefully pop them in range of our Prince of Darkness. That way we always keep his graveyard full. 
All right, dudes, so round 80, we are officially gonna come across our first big hurdle for this composition because our Prince of Darkness doesn't do much damage against a ZLMG. So I'm hoping by having the Moab Shove and the Moab Press, we're actually gonna be able to pop it because as you can see, our towers are struggling a little bit with actually being able to pop it. So this is my only worry right now is the fact that we don't have much popping power up against like the heavier Moab balloons. So hopefully our Prince of Darkness is actually going to be able to get or keep some of the balloons in his uh, gra graveyard in order to actually pop this ZMG. And there we go. I, I don't know why I was worried so much because I just remember for some reason the Prince of Darkness having a much harder time. I guess it's because we have the Moab press and the Moab shove. So we need 58,000. The triple XL trap is definitely not a cheap tower to go for, but once we get it up, I think it's definitely going to be worth it. The only thing is what tower do we want to go for after we get up the triple XL trap? Um, I was thinking about maybe going with like the master bomber, but at the same time, because our Moab shove is helping out our balloon trap so much, I was thinking, what if we went for like Comanche defense and Comanche commander? It's not a super expensive tower and I think it would be well worth it, because if I'm not mistaken, the Comanche Commander does do quite a bit of damage to Moab class balloons. All right, dudes, and here we are. We officially have the triple XL trap. So now with our Prince of Darkness and our Moab Shove, our XXL trap should be able to suck up for pretty much every single Moab balloon and a ceramic balloon that pops its way. As long as we get enough pushback here, I mean, obviously big groups of Moab balloons like, like this, we're gonna have a couple leak through, but the big thing is just stopping as many of them as we possibly can, or at least slowing them down. Ooh, would a Moab glue be a good option here? Because if we slow the Moab balloons down even more, then our blue or our uh, triple XL trap is gonna have a easier time sucking up all of these ZMGs and Moab balloons in general. All right, so let's go ahead and buy our Comanche defense. And then I think I'm going to go ahead. No, 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 no. I, I don't want to overspend here because if I overspend, then we're going to have a really hard time dealing with the bad balloon on round 100. The good news is, is that we don't need to waste too much money on going for Moab popping power because of this triple XL trap. All right. So round 91, we have a bunch of BFBs here and our triple XL trap is actually sucking them up really, really, really quick. Like the, tri the triple XL trap was definitely the play here, guys. And one, and one thing that's good about this combo is that it doesn't matter that the triple xl trap is just sucking up the balloons because they still count as pops towards our prince of darkness's graveyard if the xxxl trap didn't do that i have a feeling that our prince of darkness wouldn't be doing as good as it's doing right now but another big big thing like this triple xl trap is so good and thank goodness we have the prince of darkness uh taking out these dts in the back otherwise we might be on a little bit of a struggle bus here all right so we have thirty six thousand dollars to work with here um what other towers do we want to go for we need a lot of moab damage like if that's one thing that we definitely need it's just i don't know what would work well here because we need a tower that's going to help our towers but at the same time we need something that's going to deal a lot of damage to the bad balloon i'm thinking like master bomber is probably going to be one of our only choices so maybe if we go for master bomber and then see what else we can afford we'll be able to do it easily so Question is, do I have enough money for Master Bomber? That's the big question. So we have 43,000. Oh, I think we're barely gonna have just enough money for it. I was thinking about going for Comanche Commander, but then I was thinking about it more. And I don't think the Comanche Commander by himself is gonna have enough popping power to actually deal with the bad. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the Master Bomber because I think the Master Bomber is gonna be the play here, guys. All right, that is round 98 down. And now we have round 99. And this one might give us a little bit of trouble as well um nope all right so we have four thousand or seven thousand dollars left uh let's let's just go ahead and set this over to follow mouse and we'll go ahead and speed it up just a little bit all right so can this combination deal with the bad balloon on round 100 or am i gonna have to try to buy something else just in the nick of time all right so luckily the master bomber is able to actually deal damage to the bad balloon as it's going around the track and then we'll see if the triple XL trap is going to be that last little bit of damage that, that, that we need for the DT balloons. Oh, and oh, dude, the triple XL trap sucked up both of the DDT balloons. Oh, man, dudes, I can't believe we actually beat the boss balloon use or not the boss balloon but chimps mode using this tower combination right here it's amazing our master bomber ended up clutching out 
80,000 pops. And of course, our Triple XL Trap was the MVP here, getting over 1 million pops. Absolutely crazy. And of course, we have our Prince of Darkness that revealed all of the camo balloons. But, anyways, dudes, if you guys enjoyed this, so make sure you guys drop a like. Also, leave a comment below if you guys want me to try this challenge on harder maps. I do know that the balloon ended up doing it on Steam Bed or something like, like that. So, if that's something that you guys want to see me do, make sure you guys drop a like and let me know in the comments below. But you guys know what time it is. I hope you guys have the most amazing day of your lives. And I'll see you guys in the next one.